Tony D and Little Joan is asleep on the couch, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Repeater. Uh, it's kind of like a low-rent John Wick. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10. Makes a great Christmas gift. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Repeater. The main character's name is John, and he's an assassin for hire. They even, this looks like the uh, lethal weapon scene. I don't know if you remember this, where uh, Mel Gibson gets tortured by a guy who uh, he's got some electrodes, although he had, it was a little fancier. They were in water, and he was hanging up so instead of sitting down, and then he gets away, and here the guy gets away. Um, it's Hitman versus Hitman bunch of different guys and it kind of even looks a little bit like Keanu Reeves just in general with the dark hair and the beard and uh, they send a bunch of guys after him and then I don't know there's a bounty on one hitman there's another hitman there's a bounty on and then he captures them I, I mean it's not exactly the same story but it kind of could be in the same milieu except it's not as I don't know it's not as clear I mean she looks familiar. I think I've seen her in movies before. She looks damn familiar. Um, so there's a lot of shooting. But i got to be honest, I'm not all that excited by it. I mean, it's got some production value, I guess. Uh, some exotic location. But it just kind of looks like the same thing. You know? Guys shooting guys. Doesn't seem particularly... Uh, I don't know. Uh, Story-driven or character-driven. Everybody seems kind of generic. You know, the lines feel very generic. I need this to go away. I'll take care of it. I mean, like, how many times have we heard that line in those kinds of movies? I'll take care of it. You know, and this is the one female assassin with a butch haircut for some reason. Why would you butch her up if she's the only female? Um, I guess she did, like, a braid thing. Here, here she is, I don't know, torturing a dude, I guess. And this is the biker dude, I, you know. It's a bunch of bunch of assassins versus other assassins. It's called Repeater. Directed by R. Ellis. I can't read it. Written by Benjamin somebody. Because you had to hide it behind all this. Had to hide it behind all this. Let's see if there's any info here. No. I, I, I just, you know. It just feels very uh, perfunctory kind of movie, you know. I mean, there's some production value. They're at they got exotic locations. They're running around. They're in cars. They're shooting at each other, but just not like motivated to the storyline. Doesn't you know? Okay, you're after a guy. Okay, like John Wick had the had the the hook, and the hook was you liked them because they killed his dog. They killed his dog. It was the last thing he had to remember his dead wife by. And you really felt for the guy. Because everybody loves dogs. And so, you know, he goes ballistic. And they steal his car and light his house on fire. And he comes out of retirement. This just looks like, no, here's a hitman. There, a hitman everywhere, a hitman. I mean, John Wick already is tiresome in my view. And I like John Wick. I mean, I'll probably see the rest of the John Wick movies at some point. I'm not rushing to see them. But like this, this feels like John Wick with... I mean, look, look at this shot. If I told you that was John Wick, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's, that looks like it. Hey, he's coming out of a Continental Hotel or something. So it just feels like very low rent. Should have mixed it up. Should have given these guys more character. If you give them more character, it's not, you know... Even if it was serious, like, you know, me, I'm a clown. I, I always clown it up. I would have made him funny. If you're not going to make him funny, then just give him a different style, you know? Uh, don't put him in a generic black suit with a dark hair and a beard. Give him a completely different look. Make him the master of disguise. Make him, make him anything else but something that looks like John Wick. I get it. Oh, well, people will think it's John Wick and maybe they'll go see it. I don't think that many people are that desperate. Like, well, I can't afford to go see 
the actual John Wick, I'll save a dollar if I watch this movie. I mean, I get that you're trying to capture that crowd, but my God. You know, you can still capture that crowd. Just put Hitman in it and have them shoot each other. It, 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 give him a different suit, something. Give him a red suit. Why? Well, whoa. Well, Make him have blonde hair and a red suit. At least he would look different. <laughs> you know? Give him a cat. I don't know. Give him a wife who's still alive. Just change it up is all I'm asking. Is that so hard just to change it up? Uh, so, yeah, repeater. I don't know. It says it's out in 2022. It may already be out. I mean, we're getting down to the end of the year here. It's not a Christmas movie. Why would you release this now? It's not a Christmas movie. I mean, you got some great shots here. I'll give you that. The production value is nice, but... The the scenes with the characters? I mean... You know, they seem to be executed well, but... Like, you know, again, this scene feels like it's from Lethal Weapon. The rest of the movie feels like it's John Wick, except you couldn't get good location, so... You kind of got this, like, I don't know, dumpy bar or whatever this is. You know, you got the smoke going. You got the smoke machine. I get it. But come on, man. Can't... How about a well-lit scene? <laughs> you know, how about a big bright... How about instead of going into a bar and he ends up in a shootout, how about a pop shop with, like, soda fountains and, like, you know, it's a bunch of kids in there and their moms. And they end up in a shootout. That would at least be different. Like, people would be like, oh, man, that was nuts. All the kids start screaming and running around. He has to keep from, they have to both keep from killing the kids. I mean, that would be cool. It would be different, is what I'm saying. I could have come up with plenty of different bits for this. Uh, all day, I could just rattle them off. Different scenes. Di you just pick a, pick a scene where they've never had a shootout before. Or where they haven't done one in a while. Like, I remember the shootout in, uh, I think it was Married to the Mob. Uh, and it's um, the guy from Quantum Leap. The guy who plays, not Sam, but the other guy who keeps talking to him. Um, uh, I think his name's Dean Stockwell. He plays the mob boss. He gets uh, He's in a, a fast food drive through and he get, ends up in a shootout. That was fun, because it was different. You know, just like, this is just, I don't, what is this location? It's probably not even a bar. It's probably a sound stage that made to look like a bar. And, they, and you put in the smoke and the dark lighting so you could hide all the imperfections. Uh, I mean, if you, you, I assume you spent some money on the film, you know? And it's a shame, but it just feels very generic. What, what, am, what is supposed to hook me in on this? That it looks like John Wick, kind of, sort of, not really. You, you can't go down that direction, in my view. And it's not like your actors are bad. It's like you're not giving them anything to do that's cool. Oh, okay, get this guy in the car and then run. And then uh, they're going to shoot at you and you're going to shoot back. you got to give them cool lines to say. And if you don't have any to put in the trailer, well, i got to assume there's almost none in the movie. Or you, this is a terrible cut. So it's called Repeater. I don't know. It's it's my kind of movie, but I, it's, it feels uninspired to me. It feels uninspired. Sorry. Anyhow, that's it for me. Tony D, uh, Little Joan, Sleep on the Couch. Catch us on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for more base takes. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you in the next one.